Hey Pisces, this is Kelly from Moon Parterre. My apologies for the delay for your July love reading. So I've already placed the cards. If you would like to get a personal reading from me, just click on one of the links in the description box below. You can now reach me on the Instant Go app through your Google Play Store. It's now available for Android. So definitely reach out to me. I have, um, you can get a text. You can ask a text question or have a phone consultation with me to get a reading from me there. Um, I think I don't want to get too long into these um, announcements. Um, the daily live readings are on hold for a while, and but I will be continuing with the monthlies and we'll be starting the August readings soon. Okay, so as you can see, the cards are already laid out. This is a love reading for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Okay, and do remember that the energy is fluid, so even though some of this may have already occurred. Uh, could be occurring or coming up for you and can just keep on moving. It doesn't have to be only for the um, month of July. Some of this could definitely leak into August. All right. So let me see what your romance angel message is here for you or Pisces. Pisces sun, moon rising. What is the message for Pisces? Unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. So, you know, sometimes I would say in my readings when I would do uh, pull that card, um, I often feel with this card, this talks about more need, there's more that needs to be had with this connection. So whatever kind of connection you have with someone, um, you know, there's, it's like the, I do feel there's attraction and chemistry, but I don't feel there's enough of it. And somebody is feeling like maybe this isn't going to work out. Maybe this connection isn't what he or she thought it was, that kind of energy playing out here. Um, it doesn't mean that it can't happen later or come about at a later time. I just feel like the snapshot for July is with that energy okay now i will point out in your reading there's a lot of pentacle energy here so i'm seeing a lot of stability and i'm feeling withdrawal um there there are no cup cards except the outcome which is good so i feel the focus mostly for pisces for july is probably due to work or finances or career issues or things going on um, in your life or with another person or theirs or both of you where there isn't time for this relationship. There hasn't felt like there's been time for this connection. Either somebody is working too much or there's school or there's just like crazy responsibilities um, that either you or the other person has or just even if you don't have anyone in your life, it's just like love is not on the table. Okay. The past position is the seven of pentacles. So somebody here really focusing on what they're doing in their life as far as work, as far as their money, their investments in the past. Um, not thinking about love, not thinking about relationships, commitments, any of that jazz. Just, it's like, where do I go? What energy what, where do I put my money? Where do I get a new job? Where do I, do I change my career? Do I add more? Do I, do I keep, um, do I keep, do I not add more? How do I, it's contemplation, thinking about a life path, thinking about um, what needs to be done here. Do I rob a bank? <laughs> do I ask for a loan? Um, you know, do I have enough finances? Do I have enough? To, is, are my bills paid? Is Are my, you know, my investments, are things getting better? Do I need to do more? It's a, a lot of that energy was playing out in the past with someone, or it was you, Pisces, where it's just like, I can't be focused, or we can't be focusing on this relationship stuff right now. I need to get myself situated. I need to get stable. I don't feel stable. It, you know, also I'm hearing contemplation. Somebody may be loaning money or paying bills or is paying somebody else's bills um, or thinking of asking for help. 
are asking for more money, that kind of energy playing out. But going into where now we're already getting into the middle of July, sometime at this point, the Ace of Pentacles is here. So there is some type of a gift or an offer um, with the Six of Wands. So if this hasn't already happened to you, that energy is playing out where either either you're giving to someone or they're giving to you and it's a it's a huge reward a huge reward or a huge loan or money's coming in or someone offers some type of a gift or something that could even be thinking about in the past about this relationship if should i propose should i should we invest together should we build a business together should we you know uh, move in together should we combine our finances that energy playing out here? Should we go, you know, should we go into partnership together? Things like that. And I feel it kind of, it, the potential for it begins to happen sometime in July, could be going into August as well. There's much conflict though, driving this, this reading. And there's a lot of um, competition here as well in this connection. Um, either you're competing with one another or you have, um, or there's, there are people around you where I'm hearing like, um, I'm hearing tough to break into. Um, if it has something to do with moving in together or buying property or commercial property in a particular area um, that's tough to purchase or tough to get into or tough to get a loan. Uh, I'm just seeing like there's, what's driving the reading is, is you know, gonna still fight for this, gonna still compete um, not going to let whatever thoughts come in. Okay. Even fighting for this connection, even, um, because this is a love reading, even competing against other people to make this work, even though, okay, because I was really feeling, I feel like there's an element of, of money playing out here as well. But even though in regards to the unrequited love situation, there's also an element here of um, still wanting to fight for this connection, somebody wanting to fight for it, to try to make it be rewarding, okay? Um, thinking about, okay, well, in the past, you know, we are missing a few pieces to the puzzle here. There is something here. We do feel this connection with each other, but we're, there's still some things missing. There's not enough. We, do we need to add more? What do we need to do? And so as far as love goes, I do feel that that energy starts to actually begin to come forward for both of you, where it's like, you know what? Okay, right. Got it. Whatever we have going on, whatever the issues are, whatever our, our struggles are, it maybe puts our love on the back seat or the back burner, but I think we should still fight for this. Let's, you know, and maybe there's other people who try to get into the mix or uh, kind of like come across as like, you know, give trouble, produce trouble for this connection in some way. But I'm seeing here that that's going to be just ignored. You know, the Queen of Wands is sitting at the top of this reading. So there is a female involved in this connection. Um, who is a fire sign, okay? Uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. She's at the top of this situation. So whoever this person is for you, um, she might be connected to someone that you're connected to or it's just directly connected to you. Um, I'm going to pull a clarifying card here just to kind of see. It could be a male as well who's in their um, more feminine energy where, you know, maybe you have this person on your mind or this is the person that you're dealing with. Um, let's see what energies are for this. Okay, death card. Hmm. There's some type of transformation. And this is crowning, so it's like overriding this entire reading. The death card can represent scorpionic energy as well. Um, there's quite a few players in this situation, okay? We do have the King of Wands, the Queen of Wands, and the Queen of Cups. So I feel like this Queen of Wands, whomever she may be, is going through some type of transformation or letting something go or trying to change something. She could be helping in some way, but she could also be hindering 
Okay, so you might want to keep your eye out for the energy of this person. She could have a negative influence. Um, her journey, whatever her journey is that she's passing through right now, she's going through, uh, it could be like letting go. This could have been someone in your past um, that you were connected to that passed away, who you have been asking for blessings from uh, to you know, kind of oversee and, and help you with um, whatever your struggles are in your life at this time. Um, this is not predictive of actual death coming forward. I don't feel that at all. I feel it's more, um, there's a passing that has to do with this Queen of Wands, okay? This could be you too in some way where um, you are maybe trying to change up your tactics in the way that you present yourself to people. Uh, making some transformations and changes in your own life, transitioning from one um, thought process to the next, your perspective, I feel, um, as well. Now, going forward with the Four of Pentacles, there's an energy here of um, a tight grip. I'm hearing a tight grip. Somebody has is keeping a tight grip. Um, because it goes from the Seven of Pentacles back to the Four here. So past and near future. And I feel like whatever was being contemplated about this connection here and whatever somebody was thinking about trying to fix, they're now in this position where they're holding tight. I don't feel like whomever your person is wants to let go of the money or let go of this connection, let go of this business, let go of whatever financial things you have. There's an energy here of... Um, possessiveness as well the empress is here somebody's not letting go of their mother <laughs> there's an energy here of, um you may have someone if you're a female that you have someone amelia that you're dealing with who's got a very tight bond with a parent or a female or an ex who has children or is a mother um i feel She's going to be significant moving forward in this connection in the sense that um, could be her too, not letting go. Could be her um, being very possessive and controlling. Now the Empress in the upright, she's not generally like that, okay, at all. But the energy she's putting out during this time is, okay, um, so she's got something that she's hiding or something that she's holding back, some information that she's not willing to release going forward. And I don't know how that might resonate for you, but I do feel it, there is a connection as well. I'm seeing here, I'm, or I'm feeling there's some sisters and a mother for some of you um, who may be causing conflict to some degree about a connection that you might have with somebody else, okay? It's not sisters, it's, um, there's one, I feel like for those of you who are dealing with sisters or other females, there's one who's going through a massive change in her life. And there's one, oh, I'm sorry. There's one whom you admire quite a bit, okay? Reminds you of yourself. There's some type of uh, connection with a female who um, gives you a lot of hope. Now your position here and your advice to stay in your generous, but don't give too much information. Don't try to keep the peace, try to keep things balanced. Try to be as um, slightly generous. Do the, whatever your duties are that you have that you must do each day, keep doing those, okay? Um, and to not be in a place of selfishness because there's, I feel like there is someone here that could be like a mother or uh, whomever, however the connection is, who might be accusing you of being very selfish and greedy. And your advice here is to show that you're not, but you don't have to like kiss ass. I don't feel like that's your position here. I feel like you are in the place of showing yourself. You're keeping the balance. You're doing what's just and what's right. And you're giving, but you're not over giving. Okay. Um, which is very good it's because I don't see you in this position of saying, you know, whomever is accusing me of doing something, I don't have to prove anything to anybody. Okay. Um, so what is external to you is the King of Wands. So a lot of you do have 
a male who is a fire sign connected to you. Okay, even if this person is not a fire sign, they have it in their chart somewhere. They're coming across this way. And the fire sign male is kind of sitting here. He's watching you. He's he's waiting. He's ready. He's a the king of wands is a bold leader. He's someone who is, um, he, you know, he's not like aggressive like the knight of wands, but he is well respected. He can be counted on. He's dependable. He's loyal. He's honest. He's trustworthy. And this is how whoever this person is, is in your external environment and is quite significant in the month of July. This person might have a birthday in July, the end of July as well. Let's see. Oh, it's just coming up to me. Okay. This person is, it has surrendered. Sorry for the, um, I think my camera is kind of like stopping and starting. Um, this person has surrendered to something. They've been defeated. They um, have given up some type of a fight. They're giving up some type of a fight. They're no longer, um, it, it's nothing but, you know, how can I say this? Um, the, the battle is over. And there's nothing but promise on the horizon for this person. I feel like this is how they feel. And so what I feel like is happening here is they're watching you. They've got their eye on you now. Um, whatever issues or things that may have happened in their past, they're now ready to move forward and let all of that go. Okay. You are coming across as the queen of cups in your hopes and fears. And so, um, I see you really hoping that you can maintain your watery element within yourself where you can be, maintain your intuition. I feel like you have some moments where you fear that you can't trust yourself or you're doubting yourself um, during this time and just kind of, you have these little thoughts or these doubts or things that creep in and they kind of like, make you feel like me, questioning yourself. Am I doing the right thing? Did I do the right thing? Am, am I going in the right direction? Is this what I want? Maybe I should rethink this. Maybe this, why did I do this? But you're hoping that you will just keep maintaining that energy and trusting yourself. And I feel it's very good. Your outcome is beautiful. You have the six of cups with the nine of pentacles. So some type of a wish here for your financial stability and reconciliation. Um, there's someone from your past who's returning. For some of you, it could be a Virgo. This person, whether it's a Virgo or not, uh, this person is going to provide for you. And I do feel like it is a female, okay? Uh, this person's coming in from the past. She's loaded. She is financially stable and wealthy. She is single. Um, and she's going to have a huge influence on your financial career and will give you good guidance in regard to a situation that you're dealing with, possibly with the Empress, um, someone who I feel there's like this, even if this is you, if you're a mother, you may be really holding tight to your principles at this time, but I feel this energy at the outset is someone who's going to remind you in connection to your doubts and fears that you are on the right path, that where you're going, what you're doing in a relationship, even though times have been a little difficult right now and, and you've just been focused elsewhere, she's coming across to me as a reminder to you. Remember where you came from. That's what she's saying. Keep it green. Remember where you started. She's got, she's very sincere and truly a benefit to you coming in at the outset. Okay. So it's not exactly like, you know, at the end of the story, you know, that Prince Charming comes in and you ride off into the sunset. There's several different elements that are playing here in your reading. And um, there's something about you thinking about your past, revisiting your past, either physically or uh, reconnecting with family members or people from your past who remind you of who you are and give you that push that you need to keep doing what you've been doing. Okay. Because the nine of pentacles energy is someone who is independent and wealthy and stable. And I feel like 
because of this time period where the focus seems to be much more on that than love, I feel like you have a lot of support and you do have, um, I'm, I'm picking up your doubting yourself a bit here, but there's all this energy that keeps backing it up and saying, no, keep going, keep going. You've got this. You're doing great. Just keep moving forward. And I feel like you really need to hear that from certain people in your life. And I do feel this King of Wands is going to be very significant to you in helping you to get back on your leader track, your leadership track. Okay. This person went through some harsh betrayals and difficulties, and that is over now. And they are ready now. They're looking at you and they're watching you and they want that victory with you. They want to help you be victorious as well, either give you gifts or help you with your company or your business or offer and or invest and really help you move forward with whatever it is that you're doing. Um, so love is on the back burner <laughs> for this month, but finances are looking great. <laughs> They're just looking great. So, all right, Pisces, that was a great reading. I hope that you enjoyed it. I will see you guys next month. Take care.